Hey guys, we're gonna head into Goodwill to do some picking today. Let's see what's new on the shelves. Spoiler alert, I found a ton of things in here. It was such a good pick. So if you're new around these parts, I picked from my online Etsy store as well as my brick and mortar. I saw this little brass octagon trinket dish basket thing. I loved it. It's brass. Kind of reminded me of the cricket box that we picked. Like who knew we picked an antique cricket box. I still have that. I had to keep that for myself. Love this piece here. It just had that ornate feel to it. And it had gold, which I love. And um, yeah, I love that tarnish antique. So these are great pieces for just, you know, staging your home, layering, creating height with things. Love that. Okay. Skunk. I have hearts in my eyes for this skunk as well as this squirrel. Come on, it's fall. So yeah i think we should grab these guys because they're super cute nature sells we love it it's vintage it's beautiful you can appreciate the squirrel with the acorn he's just a squirrel trying to get a nut but honestly these are great little pieces if you love cottage core um you know if you love rustic primitive yeah you just kind of you know you love those earthy vibes a vintage squirrel on a bookshelf with some books is amazing this dish here caught my eye because you guys know that I recently found a scallop dish, a painted one that was quite valuable and now I'm like really zoned in on them. But I love this because it had the orange, which is colorful. It has birds, I think it's pheasants, um, the gold. And so I took this one, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna look this one up just to see if there's anything special with that one later, but I loved it regardless. Um, regardless, it had value to me. That was cute, $2.99. I debated taking that honestly, but I'm like, hmm. And I don't think those chips were chips. I think it was just the way that slab was cut. I've never seen that before. Have you ever seen anything like that? I'm not sure what it's part of, but it's just like really miniature decor, which have you guys been seeing that like mini decor is everywhere and it's, it's a big thing now. People are creating these little vignettes of spaces. By the way, I love that elephant, but it looks like he had been glued, re-glued back on and there was glue all over the, over the dish. So I left it. $2.99 wooden bowl. You can never have too many wooden bowls. So, yep, we put that in the cart. I was going for two things here. Do you see that? I was like, oh, I'm interested in both of these things. So I looked at this one. I think this one might have end up, ended up having a broken neck, um, but it was still a really interesting piece. I like that. I also like this bottle. I don't know if it was old, if it's old or if it's made to look old. Either way, it's, it's, it was really, really cool. Um, I decided to leave it there, but that bottle will haunt me. I will wonder, did I leave something good behind? This is a white milk glass scalloped, I'm guessing like maybe a, um, a soap dish. We got some kitty cats here. Never overlook the kitty cats. Kitty cats have a mighty magical power. They, uh, yeah. Everybody's obsessed with kitty cats in my shop. Um, okay, so we got some pretty much clear, basic dishes there. Nothing crazy. This here. This here. Look at it. Bestow your eyes upon it. It is a ginormous vase. That's a lot of real estate for $4.99. She's old. She's vintage. She's gorgeous. Be totally honest with you um so i took it spoiler alert you're gonna see me loaded in my cart in just a second here as i'm debating like do i want that i think i want that that gold edge it's a little rubbed off but that just gives it character we love that look how look at the size of that i mean that's gonna be a statement piece in somebody's house you could put fall flowers in there i forgot i found the fox too why did i not take the fox sonya you should have took the fox what kind of bird is this? Is this a pheasant of some sort? He had a chip. He had a chip. I wonder if all these came from the same home. Right now, Sonia, you should have took the fox. Put down the ducks. Those were cute, though. Okay, I regret that already. Don't even look at the bottle. Let's just keep on going. These heart dishes were cute. They remind me when I get my nails done. Um, I've been some places where they do the soak off in those little um, heart-shaped glass dishes. Get the squirrel. Yes, get the squirrel. You're going to have more regrets. Yes, touch him. Love the squirrel. 
I'll move on to the egg, but Sonia, come on. This squirrel, by the way, is heavy weighted glass. It's an old vintage Avon piece. Oh, see, I got the skunk. I got multiple squirrels. Definitely the theme of, this is all about the critters. I actually thought that was a wall hanging. And then I think it might be like a bottle cap opener. If I show you the bottom, take a look at that again. By the way, that big white vase I started to talk about earlier before I went into my regrets with the um, actual fox that I left behind. I'm looking it up and that white vase might actually be something special. I'm just trying to identify it specifically. Um, but there are some vases like that going for a hundred plus dollars because they fall into a certain makers, um, you know, made by a certain company. More research on that I need to do. So this one was $6.99. I loved it. It looked very old and chippy and all that stuff. Um, but I decided to leave it at that price point. Love this clock. We do not know if it works. I bought this clock, $2.99. I loved that, just that, I don't know, super fancy gothic feel. So you know I had to get that for my magical shop because I'm like, that is a piece that I should buy and I should hang on my wall. So whether it works or not, it's always gonna be midnight at my shop. This was interesting as well. Um, you can see, again, I don't know if it worked or not. It had a little piece hanging off the back, so I had to slide it all the way back to get it to stand, stand up right. And all those hand-painted birds. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness. I love it. Don't know if the clock again would work or not. This one is also interesting. Picture it, a wall of clocks. Would you like it? I would love it. Like I would love a whole gallery wall with nothing but clocks. Um, I just think that would be beautiful. I almost took this one. Again, I may have even bigger regrets for leaving that clock behind. I don't know. These might have all came from the same home. I've never seen such nice clocks before, all in one place. This guy here was a wind-up uh, little music box. I thought maybe he would open, but I couldn't see how he would open. I think it just sits there and plays music. There's nothing more creepier when you're in a thrift store and all of a sudden one of those jewelry boxes starts playing music. Have you ever experienced that? I have, and it really makes you go, what, what? Okay, these lamps. So I got some lamps, and I love the lamps. And now when I go into the thrift store, I can't help but check them out just to see if there's anything, like this one's broken, but that, what are they, like $6.99? I mean, I would, that one there, I would truly go ahead and just spray paint gold. Oh yeah, this one was made. Listen, I have drank many bottles of Blackberry Arbor Mist. I'm just saying, have you and the strawberry. Quite delicious, good memories. Um, but back to the lamps, I would, um, I would just spray paint the base of them whatever color I wanted. This is more lamps. There's all kinds of good stuff here today. Ooh, look at this. Okay, this could be a cool fire safe, you know, for somebody burning candles. I sell a ton of candles in my store. You can't stop me. I will never stop picking up candle holders. It's just, just if you're, if you're here to try to stop me from picking up more candle holders, it's not going to work. Just leave now. <laughs> so that's a candle holder that we put with our candlestick warehouse collection. Uh, I'm gonna look at this one, a Hallmark one. He's a snowflake. I'm not ready. For, I'm not ready for winter. Okay, I'm picking up critters. Let's just start with fall. I love fall. Fall is my personally my favorite season. How about you? These were cute. If you wanted to add a pop of color to your wall, those were actually actually plastic. They probably came from like a dollar store or something, but really cute. Um, this is a little turtle. I think it's a the Avon glass turtle. I have purchased and sold these guys before. They have a very weird head on them, though. It's, his head's actually turned to the side. It, it takes me a minute every time I see that, that particular design. But he was really kind of yellow, and so he didn't, just, he didn't have that clarity, so I just left him there. He needs to gain more clarity in his life, you know? Clarity comes through action. He needs to work a little more. Um, down here, okay, so I'm like, this is interesting. It's a mess, but you know what? It could be tamed. I could tame this piece because it's got all these amber looking leaves. It's a candle holder. It's a candle holder. I told you, you can't stop me. And it takes the tapered candles, 
so I messed with it in my head. I'm like, could I, could I fix this up? Could we make her new? Could somebody fall in love with her again? I think they could. I think it's a party light at the bottom. Yeah. Which they have some really cool designs. There's people who collect party light as well. But I do, I do like a lot of their stuff that I find on thrift store shelves. So I took this. But I will tell you that it did not make the trip home because when I got to the register and I was standing in front of it, I did not realize it at the time because I was, you know, I'm here fixing everything all up that um, some of the glass leaves were broken. Like there was three or four of them and they were sharp. So I thought, uh let's just leave it this is the section that has some bathroom stuff and all that good stuff there was a jewelry box there oh cute I actually today I was just pricing two um, other sun catchers that I picked up one with a pumpkin and one with a witch that I'm gonna put on my Etsy store here a little bit later today but these sun catchers like this one's a bluebird so sweet Sun catchers do really well as well. I sell those in my store. I get them in new um, as well. But also, when I'm on the hunt and I'm thrifting, if I see any, I will definitely pick them up if they're in good shape. This is really nice here. I like those little patterns. I think somebody just put some vinyl over, you know, a background. This was interesting. I almost took this home. I was trying to decide, it, you know, it looked like it was handmade piece covered bridge picture we have tons of beautiful covered bridges here in pennsylvania you guys have them where you are it's a very beautiful um very some very beautiful scenic scenic areas here in pennsylvania right now in fall oh my gosh it is absolutely gorgeous out there that's one thing i do love about Pennsylvania and my move to Pennsylvania is you really experience four seasons here in northern canada where i'm from a big portion of the year is dedicated to the cold months and down here you really get to you know enjoy all the seasons i love this little little guy it's just a ceramic resin type not ceramic it's resin like a plastic um decorative piece i thought somebody will love that it's like you know it just feels like a fairy mushroom house it's probably what it is and here in my store with all things magical themed somebody will love that maybe put that into their flower pot that is a nice vase. It's got a big old um, shell design on the front. A little wooden holder. I always like to pick around this part. Oh yeah, look at this. This was a little checkerboard and it actually had what I believe to be checkers in the bag. Big old sconce. These here. I debated getting these. I do love them. I love them a lot. $4.99 for the pair. I looked inside to see if they have any metal inserts. That's one thing you do have to be careful of if you buy wooden candle holders. Because if you actually light your candle, it's a possibility that it may burn all the way down and then catch your wooden candle stick holder on fire. So be very aware of that. Um, that was a really cool big candle there. <laughs> This is the fall section. Let's take a look at these cool flower art wall tiles. This guy here, he was, he was original art. At least it felt like it to my hands. I'm just not into fruit i am into like corn though corn dishes oh my gosh gosh guys we made sloppy joes last night and we had roasted corn with it it was so good okay here we go squirrel critter take them take them it's definitely a squirrel thing we're getting squirrely here we got the avon glass one we found we've got the squirrel we already found with the skunk and here's another squirrel with his acorns he's next to his tree oh and i also wondered if that acorn came with him so i'm like hmm that's kind of cool i like that so i went up and i uh, i took it and i asked her i'm like this was in his little tree there it's kind of cute because you know it's a big acorn and it's all acorn themed and she said yeah absolutely yep she's like it goes together so i'm like okay cool so i did put him in my car by the way 
that was an incense tower, but it is missing its base. All right, we got a lot of good stuff down there. Oh yeah. Oh, I think right now I'm like, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Okay, yeah, you can fit in here. Join the club. We just gotta find a place to put you. There you go. He's smiling. He's like, yeah, I'm finally getting a home again. Yay. Oh my goodness. Look. A fox planter done in the whimsical style. Love this. Love this. This will be going up in my Etsy store tonight as well. I already just took pictures of this today. So I am working through getting all my stuff that I will ship online. Everybody is out. The other thing I've noticed is like right now I'm in my store and um, there's a ton of people out there right now shopping. So everybody's in that mode of just picking and shopping for cozy home decor. Think spring. I'm not ready. But again, again, we're finding cross stitch. And I'm thinking to myself, should I collect this cross stitch? Should I create a section in my Etsy store that's dedicated to vintage cross stitch? Does anybody else appreciate it? I love it. So that has been on my mind. I was talking about that the other um, night on my other channel. My second channel is called Brush Life. I really should rename it Thrift Life because even what I do with the brush is on thrifted things, which I might end up doing. So don't be surprised if you see me doing that. But I was talking with you guys over there um, and I've got a ton of new thrift trips over there. Go check it out. And um, I was saying about how I love cross stitch and really considering, like I say, just collecting it on my travels and seeing if there is a market for it because I love it. I would love a wall of cross stitch. Tell me if you two can appreciate that.